part one, traveling. I'm in the Denver airport, flying home from a meditation retreat. I wheel my big suitcase, and I've got my backpack on, and I've got my purse and everything, and I, I, I like scoot onto the escalator. I always have a little bit of difficulty scooting onto the escalator in the way that the bag sort of lands solidly and doesn't go tumbling backwards, carrying me with it. And this time it's particularly challenging because I am determined not to touch the rail. You go up to a, I believe they call it a kiosk. I'm imagining all of the fingers that have touched that kiosk and that have inadvertently, even though we've been getting hundreds of thousands of messages via email and other forms of postings, do not touch your face. 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 face. Remember, don't touch your face. Whatever you do, don't touch your face. It's hard not to touch your face. I know it is, but you can do it. Just don't touch your face. Do not touch your face. Don't touch your face. Don't touch your face. It'd be a really good idea not to do Please don't touch your face. And if you do touch your face, don't touch anything else. I'm imagining all the people who have inadvertently used the back of their index finger to wipe their nose. Maybe even just the front, just a little droplet there. And then they've touched the kiosk. They've punched in their number. Mine starts with an H and maybe theirs started with an H. And so as my finger lands on the H, I'm going to inadvertently pick up a little coronavirus. And then I will forget that I will touch my face. And the little coronavirus will make its way into my eye fluid, where it will thrive on the fluid environment. And then I will be one of the ones, the nameless ones, who end up I was at the Safeway yesterday and I had to punch in my telephone number to get the discount on bleach. I looked at the keypad. got in the car, I brought out my non-strong enough alcohol spray and washed my hands. On the airplane, as soon as I sat down on my seat, I sprayed down the tray table and the seat back, and then I stood up and sprayed the seat itself. My neighbor sat down in the seat beside me. And inadvertently, somehow during the flight, he couldn't hold back. We were having a very engaged discussion. He'd had several whiskeys and he grabbed my hand. This is a man who flies every single week all over the world and believes that by drinking a lot of bourbon, he will kill any virus that has penetrated his body, and now he has touched me. He owns a farm in Wyoming. He's invited me to come for the 4th of July, where they slaughter a pig, even though he knows I'm a vegetarian. And he's touched me. I don't know what the protocol is at that point, if it's impolite to like pull out hand sanitizer, immediately post-touch, and in a kind of kind way say, I'm just going to disinfect myself right now. 
Do you want some? I mean, you touch me. I, I can be the one carrying it. I didn't touch you. You touched me. You know, but that's okay. I'm just going to... Uh, you might want it. Do you want to see? We can share my hand sanitizer, even though there's hardly any left in the entire world. I don't mind. <laughs> you can have some of mine. Not too much, though. This is a little light spray. <laughs> well, both just share it. Share it. Share it. Because we want to collectively stop this spread. <laughs>